Hey, this is Orion's Angel, and this is a quick tutorial on how to fix uh, systems that have games that have their screens cut on the left side. This will happen with the Atari 2600 and uh, Master System games. Not all of them, just some of them. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uh, hit F1, and you're going to want to go to on-screen overlay, and you're going to want to go to overlay opacity. Set it to about 25, and then uh, put this on so we can see the overlay. So now we have a transparent overlay, and we can see uh, the screen and um, adjust it easier. And now we're going to want to go to. You might want to go to the shader, but. Not yet, I'll do that with the Master System game because this one doesn't really need it, but you might want to fix the radius here. This, see? The radius, so it better fits with the screen. Once you do that, go to save, go to the last one on the bottom, make sure to save that. Now you're going to want to go to video settings, scaling, aspect ratio, and you're going to want to take the screen over here stretch this over here, the width the height, go up stretch this down a little bit adjust it how you like maybe a little more to the left once that's done you're going to want to go back to here, make sure to turn this off first. Then you're going to want to go here. Now you're going to want to go to overrides and make sure to click the bottom one because if you save it on either of these two, the screen will match for all games, for all Atari games, the barnstorming screen and some games will be will have conflicts with it because not all the games are cut off on the side. So just save it for this one game. There you go. And now we should be good. Um, I might want to move the screen a little bit more to the left. Maybe a little bit more like that. That looks good. I don't think I moved it that much. Save again. And that's it. Now you're ready to play some barnstorming. Get out of the way, birds! These birds are immune to propeller. <laughs> Apparently they don't get cut. It's okay. Now let's do uh, Sega Master System. Okay, now let's do Sega Master System, which some games have the same problem. You'll see the side of the screen is cut off. So, this one's a little bit more trickier because if you notice the title screen looks fine, but when you get into the game, the left screen is cut. So, it's just going to have to be a little bit of compromise here. So, we're going to do the same thing as we did before. I'm going to do this because obviously you want to see the screen. I mean, you want to see the bezel and you want to see the screen. You want to see everything adjust, you know, so you can adjust it. So, um, same thing as before, uh, you'll see something weird happen here when I go to, um, the shader, you'll see that where the corner size, you'll see, see that only one side is affected, see? So you're best better off going to zero and making both sides you know square like that you can change the radius if you want a little bit like I said before and you know save that now let's adjust the screen go to scaling do that Just a little bit over here uh... Let me go up a little bit that looks good 
maybe a little bit this way. Now we go back here. And now make sure to just save it for this one game. And let's see. Alright. Now you'll see the title screen uh, where it says Sega 1988 is a little bit too cut down to the screen, but I could I could go up a little bit. I mean, if you're real nitpicky, just a little bit. It doesn't really make much of a difference. But now you're ready to play some Wonder Boy in Monsterland. My favorite Sega Master System game. So, uh, there you go. I hope this video helped you guys. And, um, once again, thanks for supporting my channel. And, um, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.